So we're here today with a special edition of Coach's Corner, brought to you by Richmond Residential. Today, my special guest is Simona Taufa, uh, Mounties, uh, New South Wales, Australian Jillaroo Rugby League player. Uh, Jimmy, how'd you come to play rugby league? What brought you into rugby league? Come, uh, rugby league will be like my friends. Um, I had friends playing rugby league for so many years, playing for New South Wales and playing for Australia and they've been talking about how fun it is, like the stuff that you can get out of it and like the friends you get with it. Um, I came from a union background, so coming into league, I came for it to pick up more fitness, to take back to union. Um, and the benefit of it was I had my friends alongside me, but playing union, I was playing rugby league and coming into that code, it was, I think, the best decision I've made. Um, made a lot of friends along with it, learned a lot of stuff, like technique wise, and just it made me mentally stronger as well. So fr friends kind of brought me in and I just stayed in the sport and loved it. Just grew from there. Grew from there. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Mounties, how did, how did you end up at Mounties? I had a group of mates that started like, like started the Mountie squads. So we, I originally came from like County Valley Dragons, went through to Mount Druitt to help them out. And then I had a group of friends that said, oh, Mounties is starting a women's team. And it, I didn't live far off, so probably half an hour, so I'm from Marylands. And they said, oh, come, we'll start a team. We'll, we'll feed it through the girls and help them grow within the Mounties area. And we have a lot of girls out west that are excited about with the women in the league. And, how, how much is growing at the moment. So that kind of helped me come into Mounties and Mounties are a massive supporter of women in league. And like, what wouldn't you do? Mounties is a massive supporter and I love playing for this team. Oh, good. And um, you're currently injured at the moment. You suffered an arm injury uh, in the test match win against the Ferns down yeah. in Canberra. Um, give us an update on your injury. and. So I've got a scaphoid lunate instability in my hand. So I've done it in the first half of that test match. So it ruled me, ruled me out for four to 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing a lot of rehab at the moment, seeking the assistance of my physio up in Brisbane, Angela Flack and the New South Wales current physio. So I'm working really hard to get back and hopefully make that New South Wales squad coming up. Yep. And when's that announced? Don't know yet. So we're all okay. on our toes, working hard, making sure our fitness is up there to make that squad. Okay, so what are you doing fitness wise? Fitness wise, I'm with Revolution X. It's the performance center in my area, so they know how much I want, how much I love playing rugby league and what my goals are. So a lot of weights, especially being a forward, you gotta hurt people, so mm -hmm. you gotta be strong, mm -hmm. and then a lot of conditioning, so you gotta be able to play the eighty minute game. Okay, um, and yeah, you know, playing that test match, you've played a couple of games for Australia now. Yeah. Uh, what was that like when you first got that phone call and said you've been selected to play for, for Australia? I thought it was a prank call, to be honest. <laughs> like, I actually had to sit down and like, I was like, is this a prank call, is it serious? But then my coach called me and goes, oh, I want you in my squad. It was, it was shocking because I was like, although I get that positive phone call, I've had negative ones too, mm. which did set me back and question me, like, what am I doing wrong? what I need to work on. So when I got that phone call from my coach, I was like in shock. I was like, I've actually worked my way, especially the nines one. Mm -hmm. I'm a forward. Yep. Like you don't expect a forward to be playing in nines or unless you're really fit and like, like you work your ass off. But I've been only been playing for two to three years and I've got a lot of rejection calls when it came to nine. So when they said, oh, you, you've been invited to the Auckland nine squad. I was like, are you sure? Like me being a forward, like, it's a lot of work and I knew it was going to be demanding on my body, especially being playing three games in two days. Mm. So that motivated me to work harder. And if you have a, like your best mates playing footy with you and you love the sport, you'll do anything for them. So that, I was actually shocked for a phone call. <laughs> okay. And uh, so you represented New South Wales last year, uh, State of Origin, beat the Queensland girls for yes. the first time ever. Um, what was the feeling before the game and then after when you realised, you know, when you guys had, had won? Well, with last year's, when we took out the comp, like the game, we had like a really good preparation. We had an awesome coach called Ben Cross and then we had Jamie Feeney helping us out. Mm -hmm. So the build up to the game was really like awesome and like just the sense of feeling we had in the team. We believed in everyone, we, just, we never questioned anyone's position within the squad. But just the overall confidence we had in each other and our positions and like our coaches picked us for a reason. 
And a lot of the girls that was in the squad will talk about their stories. They've su some suffered 10 defeats. We've lost 17 years or 16 years in a row. And the stories that we hear and the fact sacrifices that they've made with their family kind of motiv motivated us and put us together and put us on the same page. So leading up to the game day, it was just we knew what we had to do and we knew what was going to get us that win. Mm. So we all have the self-belief and like the confidence in each other. Yeah. And after the game, I think it was more of a shock than anything. Like we all looked at each other on the sideline and we were like, like we actually did it. Like our defense, <laughs> and they scored on us in the 79th and a half minute. So we looked at it, as, it was like, it took them 79 and a half minutes to yeah. get over the scoreline. Yeah. And it was just, it was the best feeling, like, yeah. You, yeah, you need all your sacrifices you made and the hard work you put in all paid off. Yeah, great. And so it's, it's all, it was all about that uh, self-belief and... Self-belief and, and confidence. And, and really confidence and doing it for each other. And yeah. Yeah, it really bonded you together and gave you that uh, it gave you that motivation. Yeah, and we had a lot of new debutants that started too. So for myself, it would have been the third year I've played for New South Wales. I've suffered a loss. I've tasted like a draw. And I was speaking to I'll speak to the girls I go loss like I don't want you guys to feel like a loss because mm. it is hard because you feel like oh we've committed so much time we work so hard a lot of us girls do our own personal tra like our own training outside of footy we're not granted mm. a lot of the opportunities that the men do mm. but I think that makes us stronger so doing our own training committing to it just it made the reward even much better. Yeah, and you did get rewarded. Uh, it was a big year for you last year. So you, you had uh, uh, you know, the State of Origin win. Then you play. Then you're going into the Test match this year. Uh, Auckland Nines first yeah. win there. Then the Test match. So you've had three big, big wins. Um, which one was better? Which one gave you the best feeling? Honestly, like all of it. I wouldn't have specifically say one was better because if you think of it when you get p picked for New South Wales that kind of pushes you to make the jewelries to go forth from there but playing all three was like the highlight for me winning the first time ever playing Auckland Knights for the first time ever since it started and then playing on the test match and actually starting I used to come off the bench mm, and yeah. which was great and anything and then it just tastes so much sweeter when you're named in the starting squad like to, your coach believes in you to play a full 80 minute game or play whatever role you need to so I wouldn't I, it was too hard for me to pick I loved every like I love playing all three yeah big thrill for all three of them too big thrill too yeah, so it's just going to work hard now I guess playing in front of big crowds in the big stadiums that, that gives you that added buzz as well it, yeah the, and just the people you're surrounding yourself like our campus has been awesome our coaches like words cannot describe how awesome our coaches and management teams are massive they m make sure that we're well looked after and that we're actually getting properly treated like rehab mm. and we're treated like the professionals and yeah. it's just awesome the vibe we have in camp and the girls that come through the program whether you've been in there for years or you're new in the team you're always made feel to feel welcome into the squad so the culture within the team is so awesome and strong okay and finally what's next for you well fixing my hand first of all yeah. and um just working my way back so rehabbing we're training hard to make that New South Wales squad, so a lot of conditioning, a lot of gym work, and a lot of outside of stuff, and seeing my physios and all of that to make sure I get there. And hopefully the World Cup, so I've got to train really hard yeah. for the World Cup and come back to club footy and play for Mountie. Yeah, and I've seen you down there last week cheering on the girls with the winner yeah, of the Cronulla Carrying Bar. so but. hard watching the stadium. <laughs> I didn't realise how hard it would be. At, one, at stages I was trying to tell the coaches to strap my hand and let me go out there, but... <laughs> <laughs> kind of got to hold out and make sure I rehab properly. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Uh, thanks, Mama, for your time. Uh, no thanks again to Richmond Residential, and uh, good luck with everything going oh, forward. Thank you for having me. Okay. Cheers.